Hey guys and welcome to episode 6 of my F1 2016 career mode. Um, if you haven't seen the last episode, go click that now. I'm not going to spoil it for you. And uh, yeah, let's get into qualifying. As you can see by this screen, our first run we actually got some damage. So we had to bank a really slow lap when we had to get on back into the pits, get it repaired, but uh, this is going to be our second lap, the, act the first lap actually, um, yeah, we cut a corner on the way back to the pits, so we didn't get to get a lap in, so this lap will be our first lap, as you can see it is bucketing down, and well, I don't really, I don't think anyone likes it when it rains at Monaco, so it's going to be tough, but we're just going to have to try and manage it through um, and try and qualify somewhere within the top 10, even 15, I don't mind 15th or something like that, but anyway, it's a pretty good lap so far, but we're still a bit slower than the others, so it's unfortunate. Skip to the end of that final lap, we've got 4 minutes and 45 seconds to go. Coming through the second and last turn, we're in last position. Hamilton in 20th position. And we're going to come through. And 21st. 21st is all we can manage, but we're going to come back into the pits. No, no I think we'll go on another. We'll keep going, keep pushing it through, and we'll see what if this lap can put us any further up. I hope so. As we now skip onto the middle sector of that flying lap on our second flying lap, and uh, NASA has actually retired from the qualifying. Hamilton's still in 20th, so we're pretty much last, so we can't really go any lower because NASA's retired, but we could have to try and improve. So we've got 3 minutes and 20 seconds to go and we're around 2-3 two, two, seconds off the pace so that's not good at all. So we're going to come through this last few two corners and drive on the straight and we'll come through for 18th. Still three and a half seconds off the pace. And we actually kept going with that next lap. We've got a minute and 45 seconds to go. Um, it's been a good time so far. We're looking to improve. And uh, actually, we've lost a bit of the front wing right there. And oh no, we've, we've run out of fuel. We've run out of fuel on the last few corners. So we're not going to be able to improve. And we'll be starting the race from 18th. 19th, actually. As you can see, our teammate is in 10th. That is pretty good by our teammate. But as you can tell, we're not that good in the wet conditions. So due to us uh, qualifying in our wets, we're going to be able to pick whatever tyre we want. And we're actually going to change to the the option tyre, I think. As you can see, no range in the race, so that's going to be all good for us. Um, we want to avoid the, race, uh, avoid the rain, so yeah, we're going to change to option tyres. Come in for our primes on the 8th lap. And yeah, let's go for it. So here we are for the Monaco Grand Prix, heading to five red lights, and we're off. We get a pretty bad start, actually. We're going to try and get some little bit of slipstream from Magnussen, go down his inside, and we're actually going to slide and lose a bit of our front wing, and that's actually a pretty bad start, but we're going to make it work. We're up into P13 already, 
right behind our teammate. We're gonna look down the inside. We're gonna actually stuck stick our nose down there. And now we're getting held up by Ricardo actually. And we're gonna look down his inside and we're gonna get that job done. And maybe try and stick it down the inside a button. We do. And we actually make contact with him, probably slow us both up. And we've net the front guys have actually gotten away from us a little bit. We're gonna try and catch up the signs through the tunnel and maybe look down the inside at this next breaking point. But we actually cut on to the end of lap one, coming through the last home. We look down the inside, we push him wide, and somewhere where it's a risky place to do a, a overtaking remover, it worked for us. So all as well, as we cut on to the middle sector of lap two, we go down the inside of Verstappen and we get the job done. Now we're going through the tunnel and we're going to see if he comes back at us, but he doesn't. But now we skip onto lap three and we've got a safety car. So the safety car has been deployed. You know, I think that was for Magnuson or Palmer or someone. I don't know. I have no idea, but I think it was one of the Reynolds. Um, but yeah, we cut onto lap five. The safety car has gone back in. And we have a green flag, we're ready to go. And we actually get a pretty bad start, and uh, Mass has gotten away from us a little bit. And we're going to have to try and catch him with these next few laps, maybe before the pit stops, try and overtake him as we cut up to the end of uh, the middle sector of lap six. And Mass has actually gone wide and hit the wall, so we're going to have a we're going to have the speed to try and catch him and get him at the next breaking point. We break, he breaks early, we've actually, we've nearly crashed into the back of him, we've actually done that really well. We could have hit the wall, we could have hit into the back of him, but we didn't. This was really well done from us, as we cut on to lap 8, we're in P7, and we're coming in for our first and only pit stop, going onto the prime tyres, and we're going to actually have to fix our front wing. So... It's going to be a slow pit stop. If we can get out in front of Massa, that would be a bonus. Massa's behind us, and we actually we get it out in front of him. So it was a good pit stop by my team, and I'm, I'm very happy with what that pit stop was. Very happy indeed. We come out in P12. Now we cut on to lap 10 and NASA's hit the wall. We actually lose a bit of our front wind colliding into the back of him. And we're actually up into P10 at the moment now. So I don't know whereabouts that puts me within the normal field. But we'll go P10 for the moment. And we'll, we'll be happy with P10. As we cut on to lap 11, we're behind Hulkenberg. We're going to dive down the inside, a late dive. Get the outside of this turn inside of this one and we're going to get our position very well done there as we come on to lap 13 we dive down the inside of Alonso and we get the job done that's P7 with only 17 more runners to go and we're now right behind Palmer so he's still in the race so that's good for him and we're gonna cut on to lap 14 and the safety car's been deployed again oh no Someone's not done that uh, that U-turn right, and we've actually have Rosberg in front of us. Where he started in, I think P16, so that's very well done from him. As we have another bad start, we go wide at that turn, which is costing us on the restart. So we're gonna have to work on that in future races. But we're in P6. We skip onto lap 18. The dying stage. We dive down the inside of Rosberg, and we get the job done. So that's P5. And if you look ahead. That is, he's not out of sync. We're not lapping him. Harry Ento is in fourth place. Very well done by my teammate. As we drive past, and oh no, Bottas has hit the wall. With three laps to go, he has hit the wall. So, me and my teammate will be fighting for a podium position now. As we skip on to lap 19, we're going to dive down the inside of the U turn, and we actually make contact. Break a bit of our front wing. He defends well. As we're going to chuck it down the inside. It, and we get the job done. We get it done really well. We're going to dive down the tunnel. 
and we're going to just try and defend for the rest of this race as we skip on to lap 10, 20 with the last few turns to go the Harry and is still right behind us so we come through the last turn and we're going to get third and fourth for the Mana F1 racing team get in good stuff for us and we actually gain points on Rosberg in the championship so that's going to be good for our championship run ship runs even though we're still a fair bit behind so Kimi Raikkonen gets a win Vettel gets second so F uh, Ferrari 1-2 us third our teammate fourth Rosberg fifth Alonso in sixth Hamilton seventh uh, Grosjean eighth Ericsson ninth so good points for Sauber and House Massa and 10th, so we had DNFs, Bottas, Palmer, Kafir, Nazar, Ricardo, Perez, Button and Magnussen. Magnussen didn't even finish a lap, I don't think so. Very disappointed for him as we celebrate our third position by getting out of the car. We're up and about, we're very happy with that. We're giving every run away, we're front of the fist, so... Very happy. Give our engineer and our team boss a thumbs up. As we move on to the driver's standings, we see Rosberg in first place with only an 8 point lead, and us still in third place with a 44 point deficit, and Vettel in fourth place with a 50 point deficit. Lewis Hamilton sixth, but our teammate is actually moved up to 11th with those good points for our team. So he's off the bottom, and we've only got four drivers on zero points, so it's been, everyone's getting points this season, which is good. As we move on to the Constructors' Championship, and Mercedes still on the lead, but Ferrari slowly closing with only 14 points behind, and we've actually jumped Red Bull into third place now with the good points from our teammate, so we're now in third place. Thanks for watching, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, and uh, I'm going to be trying to uh, upload these weekly, so the first two came out within a few hours, but I'll try and upload these weekly, so we'll have one a week but I'm going to be going on holiday soon, so mate, might have two or three in a week. So, and again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.